Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is brought to you by Zeal Sound. I received this microphone from Zeal Sound. This is exactly what the microphone looks like on the website and this is the microphone I have. I love this microphone. When I'm talking and it's like background noises, it only focuses on my voice. Um, I love how it's easy to use. I can just put the USB cord in and then place the USB cord into my computer. I also love how when you're recording on the mic, you can put in your headphones and listen to yourself while using the mic. Um, Zillsound also sells a bunch of things like microphones, recorders, microphone stands, uh, wireless chargers, and so many other electronic equipment that you might need for your, like your YouTube, your podcast, um, your TikTok, and so forth. Um, I'll make sure I link, leave the link down below. Also, I just want to let you know I do get commission off of um, a sale if you make um, an order with them. Now the question is, what is a surfactant? They are well known for the most important part, which they are, are set to cleanse um, the skin, the hair. The word surfactant is a short term for surface active agent. Surfactants are in different groups such as emulsifiers, detergents, solubilizers, and conditioning. Surfactants have something that has a hydrophobic, which is water hating and oil loving, and then they also have hydrophilic, which is oil hating and water loving. Products you use that has surfactants in it are detergents for cleaning, cleansing, so Tide, foaming agents for shampoos, emulsifiers and creams and lotions, conditioning agents in skincare and hair care products. What, what does a surfactant do? A surfactant can do a lot, such as stirring up the activity on the surface that you're cleansing to trap the dirt and remove it from the surface. It increases spreading within the product and also adds wetting agents and a lot more. There are four types of surfactants, which are anionic, non-ionic, cationic, and amphoteric. Anionic surfactants are usually used in soaps and detergents. Um, they create a lot of foam um, within the product. So that's why um, a lot of people, when they're formulating with um, a product and they really want a lot of foam, they're gonna go for the anionic um, surfactant um, because of the foam and it foams a lot. Non-ionic surfactants are very great for emulsifying oils within your water-based product. Some non-ionic surfactants can um, have non-foaming um, or low foam. So it would make a good choice to formulate if you want a low um, foaming detergent. Cationic surfactants are usually used in anti-static um, products such as hairsprays, body sprays, things of that sort. They also serve as an antimicrobial agent, which is why you see it a lot in our disinfectants. When formulating with cationic surfactants, it cannot be mixed with anionic surfactants as the product will separate. But you can mix cationic with non-ionic surfactants. Last surfactant, but not least, amphoteric. Amphoteric surfactants is also referred to as zitter ionic, zwitter ionic. <laughs> it feels so weird pronouncing that. <laughs> hey you guys, so as I am editing this video, my camera cut off, but I thought it caught everything that I was saying about amphoteric surfactants, so I guess I'm just going to have to re-say it here. Um, amphoteric surfactants are mostly used in our personal care products such as um, shampoos, and then they're also used in um, cosmetics as well. Now, within my video, you will see 
surfactants that you would possibly want to look into to use into your products but i know some people are into the plant-based and plant-based only and they want to use surfactants that are um welcomed and accepted i should say not welcomed, accepted into the natural community so um let me break the surfactants down with um natural surfactants there are four surfactants accepted in the natural community which are soaps saponins alkyl polyglycosides which is also known as apgs and then also betanes um soap is a chemical reaction of lye butters and oils saponins are natural surfactants that are made from plants um, which they are non-ionic surfactants. Alkyl polyglycosides are a non-ionic surfactant. These surfactants are usually glucose derivatives and fatty alcohols. Betanes are amphoteric that has both cationic and non-ionic surfactants. That completes the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned something from surfactants. Look into it, research, play around, formulate with it. It's gonna, you, you will have a great time, I promise you. Yeah, so you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share this video with a friend and um, see you guys next time. Bye.